We're going to start chapter 6 today. And the first lesson in chapter 6 is on estimating fractions with multiplication and division. So we're going to be moving into the chapter about how to multiply and divide fractions and mixed numbers. Okay? We just finished adding and subtracting fractions and mixed numbers. And now we're going to learn about multiplying and dividing mixed numbers. Today, I want you to learn how to round mixed numbers to whole numbers and then multiply or divide them. So, let's look at this first example. 2 and 4 fifths times 5 and 1 third. When you are rounding mixed numbers, you want to round it to the nearest whole number. Since 4 fifths is more than a half, you would round it up to the next whole number. Remember when we rounded fractions to either 0 or 1 half or 1? When we're rounding using multiplication division, you're only going to round to whole numbers. Okay? When you're multiplying, it's, um, it's a lot harder to, to multiply by halves. And so we're just going to multiply by whole numbers. So 2 and 4 fifths is closest to 3. 5 and 1 third. 1 third is less than a half, so we would round it down to the nearest whole number, which is 5. And then multiply. 3 times 5 is 15. So 2 and 4 fifths times 5 and 1 third is about 15. Okay? Ready? Now, one of the questions, sometimes you can encounter questions that you're multiplying by a fraction that's close to a half. Just half. Okay? And so, it's acceptable in that case, and I think you can do this, to, to round the fraction to one half, if it's just close to one half, and then multiply it by one half. Okay? And here's how to, to easily multiply something by a half, is just to cut it in half. To think of um, finding half of the number. So 26 times 1 half, in this case, is like half of 26. When you're multiplying by one half, you're finding half of the number. It's the same as dividing by two. All right? Multiplying by one half is similar to dividing by what? Two. Yep. So if you're multiplying, if you round the fraction to a half, and you're multiplying, you can just find half of it. How about this one? 11 twelfths times 1 and 1 fourth. 11 twelfths is close to 1. 1 and 1 fourth can round to 1. And so that's just 1 times 1. Or this one, 9 times 8 and 9 tenths. 8 and 9 tenths is really close to 9. So 9 times 9 is 81. Yeah. 8 and 9 tenths because of the 10 and 9 tenths. Oh. Oh. 8 and 9 oh, tenths. I guess the 8. Oh, okay. Okay. You want to either round to 8 or to 9. Okay, yeah, either 8 or 9. And 9 the 9 on the top pushes it up, you mean? No, the oh. fraction, 9 tenths. Yeah. 9 out of 10 is really close to 1. Correct. Right. Yep. Bennett. So isn't it like rounding normal numbers? Like half, the half, whatever goes up. Yeah, except the fraction, instead of using the decimal form, we're using a fraction form. So 1 fourth is less than 1 half. And so we would round it down. 
Yeah, then round it up. According to the rounding rules, round it up. Okay. Now, for division, let's say that we have one like this. This is example 2B in your book. 14 and 3 fourths divided by 3 and 9 tenths. Okay. Whenever you are dividing and um, estimating, you should always use numbers that fit together without a remainder. What do we call those numbers in math? If they, if they divide without a remainder, you're on to it, Andreas. Compatible numbers. Compatible numbers. Compatible numbers. Right. So, let's round this one. 15 divided by what should we round this to? That's a compatible number. If we were to follow the normal rounding rules, we would round this to 4, but 4 and 15 are not compatible. So round it to 5. What? How? Oh, what? Yeah. Well, Two numbers is this? Right. We should round this to three because three is compatible with fifteen, and that's a five. So the best estimate is five. Okay. Yes. You only do compatible numbers on division. Only on division. Correct. <laughs> yep. Yep. Only use compatible numbers when you are finding the answers to a division problem. Okay. Any questions on that? No. All right. Um, yeah, I think that's all we need to cover for today. Make sure you have these uh, written in your notes, those examples.